Baby coins alive, what you gon' do? Man, pool fees are high, high Order no, order no, order no Where does it stop? Nobody knows It's a revolution, ayy Bitcoin is the one, no substitution, ayy We should see you go, be it's order no revolution Welcome back to Ordinal Revolution. My name is Shizzy. On this channel, we cover the entire Bitcoin Ordinal ecosystem. What is up, guys? We have an amazing show for you guys today. So every week we do a weekly update and a weekend update. Today is your weekend update. But it's going to be a little different because we have a special guest. This is the first time ever we've had an update with a special guest. And I'm going to tease it a little bit. We're not, we're not going to tell you who it is first. going to make you watch a little bit. But it's going to be really fun today. We're going to talk about some really, really good topics we got, we're going to talk about the Maryland chain. So we had Jeffrey on a few days ago, broke it down for us, but we haven't given our opinions really on it yet. We're going to do that and our guests' opinion on it. We're talking, we're talking quantum cats. We're talking a lot of PRC 420 because we really think that this is going to be something that's going to be pretty crazy in the future. Really excited for it. The commoners on uncommon sats. Uh, we're going to get into that and we'll definitely get into some DMT stuff, which is always fun. But what is the BTT token? What's it all about? What, what, what the hell are the block runner guys talking about? We're going to break all that down for you guys. So without further ado, let's get this thing started. I'm going to bring in my partner, as always, Mr. Agobi. What's up, buddy? What's up? What's up? What's going on, man? man I, I just get so, like, crunk with that intro song by Sam Sage, man. I was like, it's a revolution. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Shout no. out Sam Sage, man. Yeah. Did the intro for us. Appreciate that. So we have a guest today. Should we say who it is or should we make a wait? Uh, I, I said we just <laughs> say who it is. Let's let's just bring say, him up. Let's bring let's him, up. him up. Let's pop him up. Without further ado, the man, the myth, the legend, Matty Verse. Man, what you gotta be. Yo. <laughs> you, you gotta be the most, like without a doubt, the person we had on. I mean, I think this is your uh, sixth appearance on the show. Yeah, something like that. I'm getting there. I think Jeffrey's <laughs> up there as well. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, you're yeah. you're high in demand, sir. So thanks for uh. You know, taking some some of your time out of the day to jump on on the show with us and you know speak to the ordinal community. Yeah, yeah, this will be awesome. I know you guys invited me on the weekly or weekend update like way back in May, and it's just like it's cool to be on here. Yeah, man, for sure. All right. Um. So I actually just want your opinion on Maddie. Um. So we we had Jeffrey on on uh on Thursday Thursday night. We put the video out on Saturday. I want to say, and then um you know it pretty much um was a really great episode we're getting really good feedback from it uh you said you watched it i'm curious uh what your appearance what your opinion was, was on it yeah I, I mean i haven't finished watching it but i watched it quite a bit of it um and uh yeah like i'm, I'm super amped on it like I, i've heard of all these layer two chains and stuff and like stacks and everything and I, I was like yeah you know whatever it's it is what it is but like dude he's got He's got liquidity coming in. He's got the the VRC four twenty stuff. He, you know, he he's got a test net coming out next week, and then he's got a main net the week after. Like he just he like built it all in the background. He just drops it on us, and it's a, it's like with, with with all the stuff he was talking about the other day, like I immediately threw a beard and a Merlin hat on my profile picture and threw it up on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm in. So that's hilarious. Yeah, like yeah, ev man. everything he's doing, man. Yeah, it, it's crazy because like uh, Shizzy and I were talking about that, how, you know, um, especially in the beginning, you know, we had kind of had to like cheerlead for them. Not that we were like thinking about it like that. We were just so hyped about what they were doing. But he, you know, him and his team aren't like the raw, raw guys for themselves. You know, they're, they're kind of like heads down building and then they drop, drop it on you. Right. It's like a drop a bomb. They, he even said the Chinese community says that about them. You know, yeah. you guys just like dropping on us and we're just like, oh, my God, we didn't expect that. So it's 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 pretty uh, wild that you had that kind of same conclusion there. Yeah. Yeah, man. But, yeah. So um, what we talked about on, on the episode was this thing called the Merlin token. Right. So it's going to be a BRC funny BRC 20. And we, we kind of found it. Yago, do you still have that screen up? So we found uh, the wallet. Yeah. Because I have a question for both you guys. Um, so. You know, there, there's a W420 token, which is going to be the tokenized version of the boxes, right? And I thought that that was going to be kind of like their token. But then they dropped the bomb on us, and it turns out that it's the Merlin token. So if you look at MERL, and we're pretty sure that this is the token that they will be using because it has in the same wallet, if you go down, it's in the same wallet with the, you know, the W, what is it, W map token, right? Because that's the... Yeah, it, you also have the the Merle, 
right? M E R L. And you have these other tokens as well. So, like, so I guess my question would be Does the 420 token have as much value now as you thought it would be before before uh, the Merlin token? Are you asking Maddie or yeah, me? Yeah, either one. Whoever wants to jump in first. Uh, I'll go first. The, the, the Merle token, does it have as much value as the W420 uh, token? Is that, is that what you're asking? Well, I think the W420 token is, is it's going to be different, right? Because okay. the way that they explained it was that that's that the token that you're going to be able to wrap the box with. Yeah. Right? And so the blue box, that's going to be more associated with that. Okay. And then the Merle token is the almost kind of like seems like this governance type token that's playing this role for yep. more of like that type of situation. So um, I think both of them are going to be really valuable, but just in different ways. Right. So maybe the initial whales have already that are holding those blue boxes are going to be excited about the W420. And then you'll have some new whales that kind of come into this Merle token and realize, Hey, this is probably the to token for the chain. So yeah. I want to get in early and I'm going to do a lot of uh, activity on chain. So that's, that's my opinion. But with the, the 420 token, though, like I, I assumed that it was going to be like you know the governance token for this this sec this layer two, but no, it's no longer that. You know, I guess that's my point. Yeah, but you have to understand that like the way that the the blue box 420 and all those assets they're they're not fungible, right? Yeah. They're 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 non fungible, right? In terms of their f flexibility, once you do wrap that and then you put those blue boxes up. In, into like a staking mechanism or or however you want to call it to lock it up and then receive these w420 tokens in exchange for it you know that's where those boxes can become fungible temporarily while you're you're locking it up right gotcha and so that's where the excitement comes because now instead of saying okay yeah. i gotta wait for a buyer for this box i can just put those w420 tokens in the uh yeah. merlin swap is what it's supposed to be called and just yeah. trade away right so i think that there's going to be just excitement from that and from like the actual like merl token there's gonna be two okay what do you think maddie yeah I, I think uh now that we're looking at all this um you're right the that merl is probably going to be their government governance token and since you know one address owns the whole supply it's probably going to be airdropped to people that use the protocols and use all all the, all the stuff they're building um and and the w uh sorry what was it w420 yeah um, that's kind of like the the wrap bitmap map and stuff. Um, the people will be able to just kind of bridge over and then do whatever they want, you know, the fungible side of it. Um, but I mean, as it is right now, like the boxes are all basically the same, correct? So technically they would be kind of fungible, but just not yeah. easily funged. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, I, I think I think that it'll they'll both have their utility, but I mean the box right now is what's it at thirteen thousand or something like that. Yeah. Um, well, no, I, it's it's at twenty. Like it got to twenty one thousand the other day, but so, it's at twenty. Yeah, okay. Dollars. So, so I mean, like the the Mer Merle token with the twenty one million cap is is going to yeah. be you know less per token, but you know it's it's what you want to do with it. Do you want to hold the the blue box as a wrapped box technically, or do you want to hold a government governance token and and have a say in what the protocol is doing, what Jeffrey's doing? Um, I think there's there going to have their own i i can't compare the two so yeah do you do you think the w420 token will be the governance for the the 420 protocol or because obviously merlin's the governance for the merlin chain this is something that i probably should ask just ask jeffrey but this has just been on my on my mind so i'm actually um what do you guys think is the for the w420 token the box wrapped up the governance for the 420 protocol is there going to be some type of thing you think with that you think I think that we're, we'd be completely throwing a dart in the dark, uh, okay. dart in the dark, right? Okay. Like, because like we, you know, uh, there's no information on governance about anything that they're doing, but I think, yeah, is yeah. there a possibility? Yeah. Because I mean, it, it was their first BRC 420 that was yeah. ever deployed. And I think there's something special in that, you know, there's always something special, especially over here. And I love it. I know. First is first, right? Like that's the, the mantra. And, um, you know, I, I I don't know though. Like it would be exciting for me. Yeah. <laughs> Cause uh I think I own like 0 0.01 of one blue box. I'm just kidding. You can't do that. <laughs> but you know, um, yeah. Definitely exciting times coming, guys. Like yeah, man. innovations coming for sure. Well, I, I mean I, I mean if, if you're gonna have a if you're gonna have a W four twenty token, like what's do we know the supply of that? Like that's basically yeah. fractionalizing boxes, right? Yeah. 
There's 10,000 for every one box, I believe, right? Yeah, yeah there's so you... 20, 21 million total supply. Yeah, and yes, that so makes you... it... What's the math on that? Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. so basically you can fractionalize your boxes or, or you know, buy a bit of a box every here and there and then work your way up to a full box. So, I mean, that that's pretty sweet. But yeah. if it's 21 million supply, yeah, it could be, it could be the government governance token. I thought it was a one to one. Yeah. So 21, you can only have maximum 2,100 holders of, yeah. of those, if, if you put your box up. Right. So, um, I don't know, this is going to definitely introduce something that's that, you know, I, I believe you saw a little bit of this on Solana in terms of like being able to, uh, swap NFTs with tokens yeah. and stuff, but it, I never it never got big. I think it might have been later in the the cycle, so it just there wasn't enough liquidity to make it exciting and all this stuff. But over here, because of kind of like how like innovations happening, trying to make things more flexible um, for these Bitcoin layer one assets, I feel like this is going to be like open Pandora's box. Mm -hmm. Now, technically, Maddie, like you could like because they're they're working with Atomicals too, you could technically create a wrapped token for toothies let's just say that you decided to do that and then that caught on and then you you determine how many tokens per toothy then you create like this whole ability to be able to trade toothies fungibly right and then but that doesn't stop me from creating a toothies token as well right but that that's okay because now it's like okay which one is going to be more like consensus right which one's going to win out because at the end of the day like if you make you make your own decision as an individual okay i'm going to put my toothy up in math maddie's uh toothy token that he created because i have more faith that that token is gonna do well longer term and versus chris i'm just making up some name um, you know, that creates like the two these token or something. Right. Yeah. Um, so I think we're going to see that stuff. What do you guys think about that? Start with you, Shizzy. Yeah, man. So I uh, definitely, and you got to think too, like whatever's back in it, it doesn't matter what the token is because you know, if that, let's just say on the, on the layer one, let's just say I make a goosenal token and my goosenal token, uh, you know, it's just backed by a goosenal. So on the layer two, it really doesn't matter what that token does because you can, you get enough of it, you can get your goosenal back. Right. So it's just one of those things where, it's whatever the it's doing on layer one the price wise is floor price. potentially the floor price could have go below here, that if it does then like something's wrong right well no but that creates arbitrage you know what i mean then i'm going to hustle and try to get as many tokens as i can to get a goose out because now i can get a goose for a lot cheaper and then i could take those goose tokens and potentially stake them on type of platform that people are doing these these arbitrages right so they're going to earn money from arbitraging so they're going to have you stake your tokens so they can make money on the arbitrages so yeah. I think that's going to create a, an ecosystem and a marketplace that we have never seen before. Yeah. And, and it honestly, it sounds like it sounds really fun, but at the same time, it sounds like it could get dangerous. Matt, oh, yeah. I wanted your opinion on that. Cause like, it, I don't know. What, what do you think? Do you think things could get out of hand with that? Well, yeah. I mean, you could have people, <clears throat> um, you could have people using multiple layer twos and then, then you have, say your goose and all spread out on all these layer twos, but, like Chizzy said, that creates arbitrage opportunities between the layer twos to try and gather up enough to to get a goose out somewhere, right? Um, but then you'd have to have bridging between the layer twos in order for that to work, because uh, it's it's it can get it'll, it'll get complicated if people start making yeah. multiples. Yeah, for sure. But it's, what I do see is that the layer one assets will benefit immensely because oh, yeah. like what will happen is yeah. like people are like literally pumping liquidity into these 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 ass layer one assets right because yeah. and then you're like oh crap i gotta go to b squared because b squared has the best rate right now i'm gonna run over there and get a goose this many tokens because you, you, theoretically you could put up the stable token to buy as many tokens as you need get a goose out send it over to magic eden yeah. bam you know what i mean yeah and then do it all over again yeah, and then and then I mean, bridging your goose over um, locks it up and pulls supply out, circulating supply out, so price price go up, right? Yep. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I, this is I, gonna be so much fun, dude. These layer twos are gonna be. It, it seriously can create gener generational wealth if you have the right mindset going into it. If you're if you're kind of like layer twos, Bitcoin, but think of it as an opportunity to earn more Bitcoin. That's how I see it. Yeah, I just, I just, I just wanna I just wanna put a bitmap in, put a goose in, take half a bitmap, half a goose, fuse them, and bring out a goose map. <laughs> well, there you go. 
There you go. That's something. It's, yeah. it's, there's so many cool things that are coming. And I'm excited. So, yeah. Yeah, for sure, man. Well, you know, while we're on the top, oh, my bad. You got something? No, 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 no. Go ahead. While we're on the topic, real quick. So, um, I started this. This is a shizzy <laughs> thing. I had the first dot Merlin. The first one was zero dot Merlin. And uh, I'm just curious what you guys think. I did it for fun, not looking for gold in the end of the tunnel. It was just like, I'm going to be the first. You know what I mean? Because first is first, and I'm the best. So what do you guys think about that Merlin or Merlin maps? You want to go first? Yeah, yeah. Um, so so I'm burnt out on the, on the like, <laughs> dot sats, dot what bit, dot BCC, dot Merlin, like the text yeah. ones. Um, I, I'm, I'm not... I'm probably going to mint Maddie first up right now. <laughs> uh, but uh, I won't be upset if, if I don't get it. Um, but because it's a separate blockchain, I mean, there's always the possibility somebody wants to make a map on it, right? You got Doge map, you got Soul map, ETH map, but everything map. So, yeah, I think Merlin maps will become a thing. I don't know if it'll be a thing, but it'll exist. Um, so I don't know if you've already minted some. I got I got zero dot Merlin. Yeah. I, I I didn't go crazy with it because I am the Blockamoto of Merlin maps. So um, yeah. <laughs> I, I just I just grabbed zero dot Merlin. That was the only one. Yeah, I, I I think you should get zero dot Merlin map too, just to be safe. Yeah, or Merle <laughs> I, map. Merle, Merle map. Yeah. map. Yeah. Mer <laughs> Mer map. <laughs> 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 merman <laughs> what was that called? zoolander right yeah, yeah. That was a classic um <laughs> all right yeah but, but yeah. i mean like for the dot dot the nss and the ens and all that stuff like this would be mn mns yeah i guess but merlin yeah, yeah um i i just did a couple just in case but um I think it's going to happen. It's it's inevitable that it's going to happen just because people always do it. You got to look at like, you know, patterns on, on everything. And this is a yep. direct yeah. like layer two option or, you know, whatever you want to call it, side chain or whatever. But uh, that's that's here to service Bitcoin layer one asset. So I imagine it just will follow suit. Right. Um, yeah. Now, I think what needs to happen is a strong consensus for like the maps, because now that we're talking about it, I feel like people are going to start inscribing. So what do we think? What, are we thinking Merle, M-E-R-L maps or nah. Merlin. What? Stop Merlin. Merlin maps? Okay. It, Merlin maps. It'll be Mer Merlin, maps. Merlin maps. I'm pretty sure. Uh, Merlin maps. Merlin maps. But I think Mer maps the funny. <laughs> Mer maps the funniest. <laughs> I, I like Mer maps. Mer maps are like cool. Um, I'm just going to do this before anybody sees this episode. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to get my... Maddie versus dot Merlin here. Oh man, Maddie versus dot. Well, Merlin. I mean, if it were like dot sats is actually has utility, right? It's in my wallet. Yeah. Everybody can use Maddie versus dot sats yeah, to yeah. send me stuff. So, I mean, there's no reason why this won't exist on uh, Merlin. You know, just use my Merlin yeah. address, yeah, yeah. and then you can use exactly. It. All right. Yeah, yeah now, now you got me doing it, man. All right, guys, 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 we got plenty of time. We got plenty yeah, of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but uh, we go to the next. Um, yeah, actually, I'm gonna jump to this topic. You guys don't care. So, the quantum cats, right? Mint price uh, is no, this is wrong. Yeah, it'll be it's point one. It's point one. Oh, really. yeah, we need to edit. Let me edit that real quick because, yeah. uh, yeah, that's why everybody's up, you know. Has their it's arms four, all up and... right now? It's four thousand one hundred and fifty bucks. It's for absolutely. a Merlin. I mean, for a quantum cat. What do you think, Maddie? I know, I know, you're uh, team alive, right? So, are I'm, you still team I'm, alive? No, I, I, I committed suicide. I'm off the team. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I saw that mint price and I saw what they had people doing for whitelist. And I'm going to be totally honest here. It's absolute bullshit. Um, you have these people. It'd be one thing if you had these people going around their city with a poster going, hey, have you seen my cat? And then making, you know, making themselves look stupid. And then you're getting a discount or a free mint, but you don't even get a free mint. And they have the audacity to put it at point one. That's 4,000, 4,100, like you said. Yep. And like people are trying to draw parallels with Ethereum back in the bull run. I didn't see that many uh, blue chip projects that were one ETH, which is was yeah. about 4,000 back then, um, you know, 0.25. Like, I don't know. Yeah, Bitcoin's more expensive. So price your project based on the bit the the Bitcoin, you know, price in USD. I forty one hundred is too much and it's gonna mint out immediately. I know it will. But uh I just I just feel for the people that are grind, grinding a whitelist and, and you know, doing all this stuff and working on teams and then, you know, um 
they get to pay 4,000 anyway. You know what I mean? So, um, uh, it's, it's too high. Way too just, high. There's nothing, there's nothing else I can say. It's just way too high. And now, that, and that's why I left. I didn't even bother. I, I said, sorry guys, I can't do this. <laughs> I'm not going to touch it. And, yeah. uh, you know, I think uh, the other ones in my team kind of agreed. It's, it's just yeah. too high. Point, point uh, zero one. Sure. Yeah. Uh, I agree. I mean, it definitely is too high, but at the same time, like, I'm not angry about it. I'm more like, it's not for me. It's not for probably a good chunk of the ordinal community. I think, like, you know, they have the right to w charge whatever they want. Um, yeah. I think everybody does. But at the same time, like, I'm not going to touch it. You know, honestly, who knows? It might drop below mint price uh, once it launches. And if it does, that might be, like, a good scoop up. But like for me, I'm just kind of like, well, okay, that's like, that's just out of my range for a mint price. I'm not going to, yeah. you know. Yeah, uh, to totally. But I mean, you know, we might see it, we might see it go up quickly. Like I, I minted, um, I minted a Fumoji's 2.0 and it was, it immediately jumped to, to 3x, right? Yeah. Um, so I mean, not to compare the two, but um you know, another thing people are bringing up about this is they're trying to bring back the uh, the opcat, right? Which is yeah, they're like, well, basically, it's like they're trying to reverse something that was already done on the blockchain and bring it back. So it's basically forking, um, and they don't want to support it that way. But uh, who knows? Um, it's not for me. If it's for you, good luck. Uh, I hope I hope it does well. Um, but yeah, I, there's, I there's, don't. I just can't. I hope this does this doesn't do well. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of uh, you know, those guys, man. I mean, I, I like Udi and stuff, but th this is this is crap. And then they they, they fud the crap out of Node Monkeys, right? I mean, I I mean, in the beginning I did too because I didn't really get it, and then now it's just kind of like you're doing the same thing. Actually, it's yeah. kind of worse because you know at, at least with the Node Monkeys, you, they weren't taking away as much Bitcoin from the, the yeah, people. like nowhere near as much. Well, this, Udi, this and, Udi and Eric, crafts. Udi, Udi and Eric weren't fudding Node Monkeys. You sure, I thought that whole not, the whole not for squad anything, was. There, bro. Like, what I've learned about ordinals is like yeah. there is no like solidified squad unless you have like okay. a legitimate business partnership yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah. Because, like, I thought like certain people were in squads, and then all of a sudden, like a month later, like up. at each other's throats, right? So, yeah. um, you know, I, I but some of the people that that are kind of leading it, I think those were the ones that you're kind of more referring to, right? Yeah, and so. Yeah, um, the point one and stuff that's worse than what Node Monkeys did. Um, but they are kind of coming out with hey, this is what we're charging, you know, this is what we're yeah. charging, and you know, I'm not gonna just I'm just not gonna buy it, and, and then we move on, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, there's no reason to, I don't think there's no reason to hate on it. Um, you can kind of laugh at it. I, that's what I did when I saw yeah. point one, I just, <laughs> yeah, no, never go ahead, Matty. Um, I just, I just want to clarify that i'm only annoyed about the whitelist like like you said they can price it however they want but if you have people grinding whitelists and doing all this stuff like all this over and above stuff they should at least get a discount yeah yeah i i don't I, I believe i believe that whitelists should be you get a whitelist you get an airdrop or you get a free inscript like you inscribe something yeah yeah you should you should it should be free i don't like the meta of oh you want a whitelist now you get to pay full price i don't like that um they they should get a discount, especially for the amount of work that has to go into it. So that's what yeah. that's what really bothers me. Uh, that that's why I didn't even like mess with like the the ninjas because I was like I'm not gonna do all that stuff, dude. Like yeah. we made a pizza video and then you guys didn't even really respond. I'm just out. You know what I'm saying I, yeah. I'll find something. I'd rather buy a frog that's been proven. You know what I mean or something like that. Yeah. Or no monkey that's under 100k Sub -sub subscription. You know what I mean. Well, so I don't know. Or a commoners. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Commoners. <laughs> well, I guess we'll get right into that next, right? Yeah. So, let's, let's just jump over there. Anyway. All right. So this drops in one day, three hours and 25 minutes, right? So what this is, is uh, Commoners is a, is a breakthrough collection inscribed entirely on uncommon sets and making um, heavy use of recursive ordinal logic. Uh, there is no whitelist. The, the entire collection is 10,000 inscriptions is first come first serve simply inscribe the commoners html on the uncommon set the first 10,000 commoners will be revealed at block at set block height which is wow uh, 
is there a block height number? No, but it's one day, three hours, and 25 minutes. So, so Monday, January 22nd at 2 p.m. How much PSP. is mint? A uh, free. No, it's a free mint, dude. You just get you guys didn't scribe it on uncommon set. Oh, so that's you have to pro you provide the uncommon. You have to provide the, the oh, 600 okay. hour uncommon set that you can get on market right now for 600 bucks. Got, gotcha. So, so basically, they won't include yours into the collection yeah imagine like inscribing like one, like second to like one of these and on an uncommon that doesn't get included in the I project know. like how does well, that work? so i learned recently too from uh, uh i think it was block who told me you can't take a because i was thinking about taking you know a you know one of my uncommons that i have inscription on and just re-inscribing one of these on there but it needs to be a virgin set it cannot be a oh, already inscribed set. So okay. I was thinking, you know, I'll just take one of these and now it'll be a commoner. But no, can't do that. Awesome. So, we got uh, some of the well, commoners. Well, Maddie, are you going to participate? Um, I'm not sure. I, I probably won't. I don't have an uncommon set. Um, yeah. And I bet you. I bet you mempool fees are just going to jump because they always do when the mint comes out. So yeah. it's going to cost 600 plus, you know, probably 300 yeah. sats VB. So um, I don't have a lot of liquidity going on right now. Mm -hmm. Shizzy, what about you in terms of like, are you going to burn one of your version uncommons for this? Uh, I was thinking about it. Um, honestly, at $600, I'm thinking about letting some of my uncommons go when the hype gets hot. I'm not going to lie. Just because like I'm trying to get more liquid for Merlin. And at the same time, when these go live, if there's some, as people want to buy the crap out of these on, on Magic Eden. So I might play that game. I might play the game of unloading my uncommons into this. Unloading your uncommons to buy secondary? No, 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 no. Not buying at all. And then just, it, as, just when it starts, to, when they start getting, when people start like buying these uncommons to mint, because they're seeing the uh, the floor price oh. of these commoners at like, two three thousand dollars like screw it i'll spend the 600 get that mint it for free and then put it up for two or three thousand i'm probably going to be one of the guys who are going to sell you my uncommons for a thousand bucks a piece you know this is going to be so, interesting this is going to be very this is going to be kind of hard to play because i was thinking you know how many total are there 10 10k 10 000. okay so imagine this this mint's gonna it's gonna take it's not gonna mint out yeah it's gonna take months so but like it's actually perfect timing because they probably thought about this, right? Like, okay, start mm -hmm. the mint in late January, early February. It mm -hmm. might take a month to, to mint out, two months to mint out. Having is right there, mm -hmm. right? And then once it mints out, it goes crazy, right? So, I mean, I, I might just throw like two of my virgin uncommons into the mint. And because it is first is first. I mean, I do yeah. think like this will probably go pretty crazy. Because it, it will be the first 10K. I mean, 10K. Yeah. Um, now, I wish it was a little bit cooler collection. I, I know, I, I'm not crazy about these, like, the art part of it. But we'll just have to see, right? How about you, Maddie? Yeah, I mean, if you've got the con um, if you got the uncommon set, I, if I had one, I would go for it. Right. If I already had one, I would definitely go for this. I, I like that it's a free mint. I love that it's first come, first serve with no whitelist. Um, it, it's it's just, yeah, it, they're they're doing it right, I, in my yeah. opinion. So if I had one, yeah, I'd go for it. Yeah, I I, I got a I got a good amount of uncommons that I'll probably be uh, selling off. I'm probably not going to mint. I'm probably going to be selling yeah. them off. Trying trying to get more liquid for Merlin. Yeah, that's 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 the game I'm playing right now. I mean, as much as possible for Merlin. Is that, is that a monkey or a wolf man? But either way, I like that one. And that I like one? yeah, no. the rock. Guy. No, the bottom to the, the bottom right. To the right. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I like those too. The hoodie one's okay too. Yeah, you got one with a fitted, uh, you know, snapback. But yeah, all right, all right. So we well, got that one down. Yeah, I wanted to see if we could. Uh, hit on this before we get into that yeah. the DMT topic because I was talking to um I was actually talking to somebody I won't say the name but um there's a you know tap in track is supposedly coming out with like a bitmap standard type of uh fungible or non-fungible like 
three D asset, right? And I think it's it's it, they're kind of in like partnerships with like another creator of these assets, right? So I mean, what do you guys think in terms of BRC four twenty? Because like obviously we're all hype about it, but do you guys think that like they're too far ahead of everybody in terms of consensus like because we see foxy bit bitcoin kingdom uh inscribe.space all three of those right now have consensus that they're going to integrate brc420 assets into their platform right but then you still have probably another handful of uh bitmap type builders that haven't committed and and some of them are waiting on this track solution um, just curious on what you guys think. Do you think BRC 420 is too far ahead or there could be like, they could get caught up? You go first, Matty. Yeah, I think, uh, I, I think that I don't think they're that far ahead. You know, I think that they're getting pretty good adoption. Um, uh, you know, I, I faded it at first and then I didn't even know this marketplace existed and you told me about minerals and then I've been on there all the time. I mean, um, <clears throat> like I said, L Prof had a project on there. Uh, that, that did pretty good. It, I, I like it. I, I think that there's quite a bit of adoption. I just, the only thing I don't like about it is that people can just create the same thing. Um, the same, like people create another mineral collection and start selling it and they, like the scamming just, it's, there's nothing they can do about it. But if, yeah. if a bunch of different bitmap protocols are picking it up, you know, just like a bunch of, you know, marketplaces are picking up sets as like a gas token and stuff i mean that that utility it's just going to build onto that utility the chan the longer we go with people uh with projects picking up the brc420 the less chance there is of another protocol coming in and taking that market share right so once everybody's getting in on one thing that thing becomes the thing right it was like yeah i it, so i i think that they'll they'll do fine i think that it will actually be the most popular um, metaverse asset protocol on Bitcoin. Yeah. Yeah. I'm with you on that. Um, and it, it's kind of reminds me of like what you said in terms of like the scamming and stuff. It reminds me of like the, the DeFi EVM stuff, right? Like you can launch a token with the same name, same ticker, and some people will fall for it. Right. So I think it's kind of making sure that you have your checks and balances in place. You know, just make sure that you're not buying the fake version, like looking to see if there's a partnership or there's a badge or, or something there. Um, but yeah, I agree with, with you on that. Shizzy, what do you think? Yeah, I'm in the same boat. I'm thinking if, if you get scammed for buying a mineral or a blue box, that's your own damn fault. Like if you you got it, I mean, before you click any buttons, you have to dot your I's, cross your T's, make sure you're touching the right right one. And that's that's not for just BRC420, that's for everything. I mean, I, I almost made the, make, made the mistake when I was buying Lego. I almost did a, it was like a one IGO and I was like, hold on, mm -hmm. what's this? But you have to, you have to make sure you're on the right thing. And if you do, the, if you do make the mistake, you cannot blame anyone but yourself. And I think if we can make, you know, we can make that common consensus of, you know, just, just doing the right, you know, make sure you're doing the right thing uh, for your own, for your own good. Cause it's only going to affect you. But um, to the BRC 420 thing, I, I think BRC 420 is just way too ahead. I think with this layer two, they're, they're they're uncatchable now because now you're able to take this and we saw the games that already have brc 420 in them right so um un unless these other competitors can really put their foot you know foot to the pedal and really speed up quickly i think jeffries is too far ahead you can't I don't, yeah. I think you can't catch them yeah i mean great great points there um i'm i'm in the boat with you and with that uh perception of of you know I mean, because we got to be real. Like, if you think about like building, like BRC four four twenty has been building like since the summer, right? And so, and the the way that you know Jeffrey visualizes like how it goes, he told us even on the interview, and you guys can go look back. He goes, when I asked him about adoption, he goes, I said, do you see that? How do you feel about it? He goes, I'm happy about it because that's what I dreamed about like months, couple months ago. Mm -hmm. Is is other you know platforms to adopting the brc420 protocol he literally hit his goal this past like month for that first part so for me that kind of tells me this guy knows what he's doing he's on track yeah. he you know but i never count out like competitive competition i think competition is healthy and so i'm excited to see what what the track and tap side can bring um because i think in the end let's just say that it was it's a better 
solution. Let's just say, you know, hypothetically, then that's better for everybody if it is right. But if it's not, then we'll know pretty quick, I think. Right. And then consensus, <clears throat> like to, to Maddie's point, consensus will happen even faster and people are, will adopt. So. Yeah, I just want to clarify. Um, I think all three of us are on the same page. But when you said if they're I, if they're too far ahead, I thought you meant like they're too they're ahead of their time, so that's what oh, I was yeah. speaking okay. on. But no, I agree with you guys that they're they're too far ahead to be caught at this point. I think. Yeah, yeah. I I do think let's just say track does come up with their own competitive BRC four twenty that does open up opportunity, <laughs> and um, opportunity is always um, always great. But I think BRC four twenty um will be the number one, and that could be number two. And potentially, they, but they all could be trading on Jer- on Jeffrey's layer two on Merlin. Yeah. Right. So at the end of the day, everything being built on layer one is good for Merlin. Jim. True. True. Spe- well, yeah. they're going to have to adopt it and bring it and uh, onboard it and stuff like that. But I mean, to your point real quick, B squared could just be like, hey, look, we like that protocol. Yeah. Do we That's can true. do what you know what I'm saying? And then there'll be like a polygon arbitrum type type of situation. You know, polygon is yep. a little bit better for this. Arbitrum is a little bit better for this. Matty, you seem like you were about to say something. Yeah, I was going to say, it's, it's not to say that there won't be other ones that people use, uh, like true. I said. And like I always say, monopolies are bad. So, uh, you know, it's better to have competitors because competition breeds, um, damn it, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> innovation. <laughs> Thank you. Competition <laughs> breeds innovation, right? So yep. you need the competition. And um, there will be uses. There will be other places that that build their own protocols and they will get used. Um, but I think BRC 420 will be the top one. Yeah, man. Yep, yep. All right. All right. We'll do next. Go into that, that, that big one right there. Set up for Maddie. This one right here. So we are it, illiterate in terms of like <laughs> illiterate. That's probably the wrong word. Um, <laughs> but like in terms of DMT stuff, we're like wait a, a bit behind the curve uh, compared yeah. to you, Maddie. And so, you know, we definitely, you know, would love for you to kind of um, talk on this. You know, the topic is DMT tokens that, you know, we kind of got into DMT and, and that. So I think our audience knows kind of a base of what that is. But yeah. when it comes to like this BMT, like being able to claim these tokens it, with, if you only have a bitmap, there's specific group of these NAT tokens or DMT tokens that are like this. Can you talk about like what that is, maybe how, and then what block drop is as well? Yeah. So, so basically with these, uh, with these um, DMT tokens, um, they, the block runner guys have created obviously uh, DMT NAT. So you, you, anybody can claim these. It's like a free mint kind of thing. Um, but then, they also, alongside of that, have dropped um, a claimable just by owning a project or bitmap. Or I'm pretty sure you can use other projects as long as you deploy it to an inscription. But I think this is just, I, I'm speculating. I don't know if you actually can. But um, the thing about the bitmap, uh, the thing about owning a bitmap to be able to claim that parcel means that you have unlimited time to do it, right? So. Well, while we're all sitting here going, how do we mint? How do we mint? How do we mint? I know that the block runner guys are bringing um, bringing a way of, of just doing it on their website. Check mark, check mark, check mark, inscribe. So, you know, in my opinion, there's no reason to rush. Just hang out because nobody else can inscribe your stuff. Nobody else can claim your tokens. Um, there'll be more that come along. But basically, what they've done is they've deployed uh, same thing elements, and that points to to like numbers or uh, it points to um, the project. So you can use different projects. Um, you know, you can do hex, numeric, sa- same as the DMT, um, same as the NAT, but but it's only claimable by, by you. So I would just honestly wait until the infrastructure comes because they're building it. They've shown teasers of it. Uh, and uh, I don't know how to deploy them yet. I haven't actually dug into it. So if you want to deploy a token, Go to the go to the GitHub, read up on it, and then I was just just asking the block runner guys questions because they're totally open to questions and, and how to use the protocols. So. Awesome, awesome, yeah. Um, and you know, this actually brings to my mind, you know, the the kind of what we've been seeing a little bit so far. I think we've only seen the small snapshot of like the benefits of actually being a bitmap holder. Um, but this is one of them, right? So you have like this 
benefit of being able to be like, hey, look, I don't have to rush on these because I know you have to hold a bit maps to be able to claim these. So I have my share waiting there for me. You know, I can yeah. do it whenever I want. And that circulation won't get filled or that minting process won't ever end until I, at least I do mine. Right. And so mm-hmm. I think that's a comforting feeling, but also it's, it, it brings up the, you know, the possibilities of how, how many benefits can you have? And I think it's really kind of like really almost limitless. Right. But it, it, it will come to a point, I think in terms of like, where do I, you know, what do I do with, cause let's think about this. Like if you, put your bitmaps up to receive the w map token you might be enticed to do so because the w map token is taking off and going nuts and you need liquidity right away versus oh i don't want to lock mine up there because then i can't claim you know my btt that through this so there's going to be a bunch of different things do you think that people are going to run into like issues with this um well now that you're talking about that and i brought that up um i just saw another another way of mining these tokens right like so if if say you you've claimed the tokens for your bitmap you wrap that you wait till it times out and goes and you pull back out and get a different bitmap you have a chance that you can claim more tokens on that bitmap and you don't even have to you don't even have to spend much money just whatever it costs to bridge and bridge back and just time right so you could you could have people literally mining these tokens by throwing them in the in the second layer and then bringing them back and getting a different bitmap Dude, I wish you didn't say that. I wish you said that off, <laughs> off air because I'm like, that strategy. I was, I was, is going about, to be I was used. about to say that anyway. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That strategy is going to be used. Um, dude, that's like, that's why we love having Maddie on, you know, like his yeah. mind, like, just all of a sudden says, Oh my God, I just saw like a super huge opportunity. Yeah. And, yeah. and what will happen will be like for the, the whales that jump to that W map, you know, at first, right? And they're not even thinking about, they might not even know there's so much information coming out at the yeah. same time here. And then, you know, though, and so you're like, oh, my God, like, you know, what I mean, I'm gonna go do this strategy you literally could just keep changing them out. It's it's kind of like uh, doing the sat sifting, right? Exactly. And so, yeah. Except for you're guaranteed <laughs> these tokens almost. So that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, for a certain amount of time. Right. And then especially if if it's really easy to bridge and it's really easy to bridge back. And then Mscribe has their um, checkbox system that they've shown us it, literally a whale with like a thousand or ten thousand bitmaps could be like okay um send all these over wait the seven day period pull in ten more click 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 click, click claim and then say, say they only get 10 20 30 percent of it who cares yeah. especially if the token's worth a lot like <laughs> yeah we're going to be uh we're going to be uh, bitmap hunting again except in a different way yeah yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. what about you shizzy do you do you see like people running into issues trying coming across like these bridges of making like hard decisions you know what I mean? Um, not actual like crypto bridge. I'm talking about like in their specific like decision making. It's going to be tough. Like, do I stake or do I put them up to receive these tokens or should I just claim, you know, the the BTT or do I wait for a BMP airdrop or claim? You know, I mean, there's going to be so many options. Yeah. Like, what do you think? You're going to hate my answer, but I don't, <clears throat> I don't care about these tokens. I don't. I could care less. Like to me, I'm, I'm done with tokens with no builders behind them. Like I'm done with like that type of stuff and you could say yeah block runners me building with all these different tokens and stuff but like with what you know there's no i can't stake them i'm done with stuff i can't stake. i i i need DeFi in my life you know like yeah you know, i don't care about the btt and any of any of that stuff I, I don't i'm not even gonna waste my money minting them honestly yeah but but like, but, I, like I, we I, don't know if there's gonna be like btt is gonna create a staking mechanism or i'm sure there will be if there's like but for what let's though? say there's, there's 50 no, tokens let's say there's, there's 50 tokens that come out there's, there's benefits for a bitmap and then someone creates a staking mechanism right, i mean you can, I can always create, stake on stake on stake right i mean i can create dtt and ctt and ftt and btt and i could just make keep making this crap and we have more and more tokens in the ecosystem we don't need with nobody yeah. building behind them it's a waste i don't like it and i think that they did this because they messed up with nat and it, you with nat you should have been this should have been how nat got got put into the ecosystem nat dmt and they 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 see that they messed up so they're coming out with this to do these other tokens so nat i should have been the only person to go into my into my um my bitmap and get those tokens out it I, shouldn't I see have been... maddie i see maddie shaking this well, hold on. We'll... it should okay. it shouldn't have been the way the way it does and i i think that they saw that and they got a whole bunch of uh backlash for that so they're going to create this other protocol i guess this other way of doing it and that's how they're getting btt oh. and ltt and ktt whatever yeah. and KT but that was already that, that was actually already 
created before they got backlash. But Maddie was shaking his head. Go ahead. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I was. I see what you're saying, but no, they they created these both at the same time and put them in the GitHub, so there's two different options. And and people took off yeah. with the NAT, not not the BMT. It could have been the other okay. way around. People could have been like, "Hey, well, we're gonna do this BMT." Um, but yeah, I, I see what you're saying. Um, but the other thing is, you're right. You we don't have to mint these things, so you can just wait. So yeah. sure, all these tokens are dropping. Now we're gonna have a list of tokens. You're gonna be able to sit here and wait. And then if if one of these tokens or two of these tokens get something that interests you, some builders behind it. That's the only one you check mark, and that's the only one you mint. But you have no yeah. rush, so you can literally yeah. sit here and just wait. Yeah, I, I, I just see this the same. They're, they're, they're going to come into the same problem as Atomicals, where gets all these worthless tokens are being minted and have no value behind them because there's no team behind them. Like, uh, yeah, like I don't know. I just don't. I just don't get it. I don't. I don't want these tokens without teams. I don't. Yeah, I mean, but like, come on, like DeFi boom, like thirteen. You know how many worthless tokens? They are all on had the teams Ethereum behind side? them. They all had at, at no. one point they did. Yes. Bro, like the the food name tokens? A <laughs> lot of them. That? I I I was in I, Ice Pop or whatever uh, I or I was in, they had okay, a team so, behind them. So so okay, so my point that I'm making, you can go look at either scan right yeah. now. There's like probably like hundreds of thousands of tokens that were just literally launched for no yeah, reason. But they're all zero today. But that's that is a part of the nature if you if you bring over DeFi and, and fung fungibles. Yeah. I'm just you know? saying I'm not willing to go on that ride to zero. I'm not yeah. not playing I that mean, game. I'm yeah. taking my capital, my seven dollars for mint or four dollars for mint, whatever whatever the mint price is, and I I'm taking that money. I'm taking it to Merlin. Yeah, that's and just I think what I'm I think I, and I think first of all I want to say I think like your mindset is actually a smart mindset. Um, and I'm not saying the opposite side isn't, but like, yeah. there's going to be two groups of people. None, both of them aren't wrong in my opinion, but there's one that's like, okay, I want to take advantage of the benefits of holding a bitmap. And then there's going to be people like you. That's like, look, I know there's a group of people there that want to take a, a advantage of these benefits, but for me, I'll let them do that. So the layer one asset itself will go up in value. And then I'm just going to trade that straight up. You know, yeah. which, which, you know, it's quicker, it's painless, you know, more painless and, and, and stuff like that. But you might and not think so, much, like, but. but say if I list my bitmap and you can go check on the floor, or like you could check, hey, let me see what's in this bitmap that hasn't been thinged yet. My bitmaps will actually probably go for more than yours because you already, like, you already took out all the, the insides of it. My bitmap's going to sit there in toll and people are going to want to get the, those virgin BTTs or LTTs yeah. or whatever. You know what I mean? So it's like, that potentially could make my bitmaps go up in value. Yeah, no, yeah, you're you're absolutely right, man. And I think, like I said, I don't think either side is wrong, um, but th it's going to be a lot of fun because we haven't yeah. even hit on the last part of this topic here, which is yeah. parceling, right? So <laughs> this is another part of it, man. And as we saw, Bitmap Community, shout out to them, they're doing amazing things. Um, they are in the news for parceling probably the biggest yeah. project in the news right now because they started to you know uh list out their uh genesis parceling maddie uh someone that has you know quite you know a lot of experience in the bitmap realm what do you see because like i felt like parceling was talked about a couple months ago months ago and then people were like i don't like it it's not time you know it's too early we need to get this situated but now I feel like the natural like evolution of parceling to come out is happening now. Do you mm. see this as a positive or do you see this? Cause like once you start parceling out, you don't have a virgin bitmap anymore. Now it's kind of, I don't want to say tainted cause it could be good. She's used. How do you, yeah. How do you see the, the use of, or like, do you see this as a positive, a negative or neither? Uh, I, def definitely positive. Um, like they're, they're using this, they're using their parcels in, as an OG pass. Um, and that's that was one of the that's one of the use cases that we talked about way back in uh, July, um, you know, giving it out to your community as like an OG pass, and and that's what they're doing. Um, but I, can can you do me a solid and just pull that bitmap up on Bitfeed three six four eight zero seven? Look at this fucking thing. Sorry, you what can was it? Bitfeed dot Bitfeed dot live. And what's and the number? Uh, go back it's, to that. Uh, Three six four eight zero seven. Look at this thing. Oh, <laughs> look at that. 
It's probably the oh. most beautiful bitmap ever. <laughs> so, so are there like you see how like there's squares missing at the bottom? Is it because the Genesis uh, passes or parcels? No. Okay, no. so it was already no. like that. those okay. are just transactions that didn't fit on the on the block. But look at that thing. So they're they're parsing that out, and they're gonna have however many transactions. I haven't looked at 6,450 OG passes, basically, uh, um, if that's how they use it. But that's what they're doing. Um, it's a pretty good use case. Um, I don't know of any other real use cases for parcels as of right now, but it's a, it's a good idea. They're, they're kind of the pioneers there. Um, I'm sure there's people that have done it before, but this is like the most publicized. And like I gave away uh, Genesis Parcel 110 for them the other day, literally drew, drew it yesterday. And then the person got it from them and then sold it right away for 0.1 Bitcoin. So wow. it's coming. Four grand? Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. It makes me want to sell my six dot, but I'm not going to. <laughs> um, oh, because the lower numbers are going to be considered pretty much the more valuable ones, right? I mean, people, will, I'm sure, will attribute value to the lower ones more, even though they're pretty much equal. But um, yeah, I mean, I got I got six dot three six four eight oh seven which is really nice um but yeah kind of annoying that i do the giveaway and it sells right away um but obviously you know paper hands lost it and diamond hands picked it up well yeah. that was a big uh win for your community yeah. member i mean right? four 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 thousand dollars man that's yeah. wild that's crazy yeah so i mean I, th these they're gonna start getting use cases um people are getting pretty creative so um but it's looking like parcels are going to start being a, a big meta coming up here this year. Yeah, I, I think that's different than the this, these new tokens that are coming out. Mm -hmm. I think parceling is going to be different because again, there's a team behind them. There's you got you have the Bitmap Community Genesis Parcel, right? It's a team yeah. behind it. They're going to be building stuff in the background, and exactly. that's the stuff that gets me hype. I'm, I don't want a uh, you know a parcel from some just some some guy who's just not building he's like, i'm just giving away all my parcels yeah. like that doesn't that's not gonna get me hyped to to get them but something like like this with bitmap community who's who has you know they have a following on on x they're reaching out to guys like you maddie they reach out to us and they're really trying to be a part they're trying to be a part of the huge community what bitmap is and i think they they're doing a really good job with this with and and i'm hoping they continue building because that to me that's the most important part yeah, and, and like they, they were reached out to a bunch of people and uh, I was talking with Diago B and I was like, some people didn't accept them. They just didn't want them. I'm like, like why would you even just, it, it costs you nothing. They just airdrop mm -hmm. it to you. Why would you why would you say no? And now now they're probably kicking themselves because they could have <laughs> taken it and sold it for $4,000, right? Like, exactly. why not just take it? It's free. Mm -hmm. yeah. <clears throat> I'm well, definitely tempted to list the list. <laughs> <laughs> i'm holding yeah, mine because like, i got a low uh, number <laughs> if, that, if that's if that parcel is selling for 0.1 now and it they're not even they barely yeah. even scratch the surface like it, I wouldn't sell. it's just four grand it's four grand i mean Stop, you know what i mean yeah. like I, I I got I got to work all all you know all month for that yeah, yeah. you know well, 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 four grand <laughs> four, 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 40 grand isn't four grand though right so that is I'm true kidding. <laughs> no but but, um, I, I could take that four grand to Merlin, right? And see yeah. what happens over there. <laughs> more work, more work. No, but like to your point, Shizzy, um, you know, this actually throws another decision in the in the you know in the in the road, right? So you're like, oh crap, now like do I not like insert my bitmap to get these W map tokens because I already I'm, I want to parcel it out. But again, like you said, you know you don't want just a parcel from just a random person. You, I and, and I don't think people will do that. I think it's going to be, you're going to see more of projects doing that because it doesn't make sense at, you know, with a token, people can just randomly try to hype it up and make money. But with these parceling out, you're making a decision to where you're changing your, the status of your bitmap. So, yeah. yeah. Amen. All right. All right. Let's get to our, our, update part of this uh maddie you've seen the show uh multiple times right so you, you know how we do the uh the updates and stuff so um i'll actually i'll give you want to start with unisa or we should go first uh yeah let me uh pull up my unisa sorry had a little little uh sound in the background let me get my okay. unisa up here okay all right 
All right, we're going to start with the BRC20 weekend yeah. market update, guys. Uh, in the number one spot, so we're going off the 24-hour volume here. Track is up 5.56% in volume, sitting at $3.89. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll kind of see where track, you know, heads. I, I, obviously, a lot of people are very bullish on it long term. Um, one of those people is me. Uh, but it has been kind of ranging in this, like, high $3, four, low $4 range. Um, but there's supposedly staking coming for track. So yep. um, once the tap ecosystem is, is ready, that's going to supposedly happen. So that's exciting. Um, number two, Ghosty uh, jumped up pretty big in terms of price and volume, up 10% here, 10.10%, sitting at 48 cents. Guys, this was at like 39 cents just yesterday. I know. Yesterday. Yep. So a whale must have came in. And, and sweeped up everything. I think his name is Mattyverse because he mm -hmm. heard about the. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, but uh, good, good bump up there. Number three, BMP. Um, we've been waiting for this one because like the sell pressure yeah. has gone away because you can't claim anymore. It's up 6.67 percent on the 24 hour volume. Still sitting at one cent though, and there's a, a a bit of a wall, you know, that's built out here. So I don't know. We might have to wait until things get bullish again because like the whole first page is a wall of of uh, a penny. Um, Number four coming in, in at uh, up 4.84 percent. Already sitting at 67 dollars and 48 cents. Um, definitely know that this is going to get back to 80 bucks once the next leg comes up, and then higher most likely. But not financial advice. Number five is uh, Sats up or down 2.34 percent on the uh, 24 hour volume. Sats has been kind of struggling, man. It's 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 six zeros five one now. Um, it was hanging around six zeros, five, four, five, six, but I don't know what's going on. Um, have you guys heard anything about sats and maybe why are they giving it out for rewards yet for OPI? I, yeah. I, I haven't. Me yeah, either. I haven't heard anything. No. Gotcha. Gotcha. Maybe it's just, you know, um, maybe, uh, Unisat needing to, to get some liquidity. I don't know, but we'll see. Number six, LIGO. This was the one with the amazing website once they launched, yeah. um, but they're down 5.66% sitting at uh, four zeros and a one three. So they're at a 1.3 or sorry, $13 million market cap that dropped from 17 million. Um, and then you have X S X I O up 104% on the 24 hour arc B even number eight. Uh, you have dot com, no volume in the past 24 hours. Sitting at $2 and 45 cents. This thing got all, all the way up to, I think like eight bucks maybe, which is really, really good. Um, and then we have uh, Shint, S-H-I-N-T, S-H-N-T. Um, this is the Satoshi Hunters. They're down 6.41% on the 24-hour, sitting at 15 cents. This is the Satoshi Hunters, um, Francis, um, from Francis Dune, is, 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 I believe is a part of that project. They yeah. have a, a, a platform release coming in, I believe, a week and a half, two weeks. And we're going to have them on the show, I believe, but we'll let you guys know with an update on that. BXDX up 9.66% on the 24 hour volume. This is a swap, that swap token. Remember this one? Yeah. Yep. Um, 71 cents. I'm not, I wasn't huge on it because they were, they showed up in like the middle of the summer, said they had yeah. a swap ready and just never produced anything. So I'm staying away personally, but you know, do as you please. Uh, number 12 is recursive verse, but not the actual recursive verse. RCSV community token, zero volume there, sitting at 44 cents. Uh, Traverse up 4.92% on the 24, sitting at uh, four zeros in a two. So this jumped up from four zeros one eight yesterday. So this is up on the 24 hour and price as well. And then you have Graph, G-R-P-H, sitting here down 22.59% on 24 at 71 cents. The council, man, the council jumped up, man. It's up 14.71% in, in volume, but the price has also jumped up. Uh, get It was at Damn. $210. Yeah, so it's at 19787 for the floor. Um, ETCS is uh, even, no volume there. OXBT up in terms of volume. This is Shizzy's favorite token. It's <laughs> up 9.38% on the 24, sitting at $0.03. Cents, so it's at $6 million market cap. Um, you know, there's people that, that think that OXBT is going to be one of those Th those tokens that moon once everything is here but i don't know it's definitely tricky there's a lot of holders Dude, but the, the price gets kind of stuck in molasses it didn't it didn't moon during the freaking the moon the time where everything else mooned <laughs> why the hell would True. it moon anytime soon i mean sats did 100x like why the hell would oxbt move at all at this point well well technically it was it was below a penny it was like at point zero zero like eight and 006 at one point i think so it didn't moon 
to our standards. Um, but you know, it definitely went up. Look, I think OXBT is one of those that like it isn't gonna crash to zero, but it's probably gonna be take a lot of lot of like probably manipulation volume from whales to get it to really moon. Um, just because there's a lot of bag holders that want to offload here. Uh, that's just my like, hey, opinion. Though. Hey, Shizzy, here, here's a million, a million OXPT, man. I, I just like what you're doing. I just want to support you guys. Boom. I would sell it in a second. I don't want to hold that token for a second. You know yep. what I mean? That's just my opinion. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, then you have Orge coming in at number 18. It's uh, down 33.33%. This is the Orge swap um, token. I did go to their website. They do have a, a nice website, but I don't I don't know about functionality stuff. It's at $0.06 cents yeah. here. Um, then you have Bank, one of the OG tokens here, up 9.38% on the 24, sitting at $0.05. Cents. Uh, Evolve, this is the I'm So Chris token, up 3.09% in volume on the 24, sitting at $0.04. Cents. Pull back a little bit here, but, you know, uh, $0.04, cents, not too, too bad. You have Bits coming in at uh, the number 21 spot, and this is not the Bits uh, reward from Foxy. This is a Bits BRC20 token. It's not associated at all. It's down 1.05% and sitting at $0.20 cents on the uh, the price there, floor price. Mm -hmm. And you have uh, Quadruple 8 up 9.09% and then um, sitting at $0.03. Cents. And then yep. 9527, we know... <laughs> These are probably both Chinese uh, community yeah. tokens because they love the numbers here. Up 56.55% on the 24 volume and sitting at 0070. Yeah. And that is the BRC20 market update. And uh, I, I know, uh, Maddie, you 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 have a, a hard stop, man. So this is kind of where we'll let you go from here. But if you have any, any last words to say to the community before you go, here's the time. I'm just going to say the same thing I always say. Um, be careful out there. Uh, a lot of people getting scammed. Um, get your shit on that. <laughs> get your stuff on a hardware wallet um and uh if you need any help just dm me and i'm available as much as i possibly can so um at the maddie verse on twitter yeah man all right well thanks bud yeah. appreciate thanks you for appreciate having me. you man no problem and then i'll take you guys over to the digital artifact part of it so we got we got the node monks sitting at 0.159 uh, they're sitting at number one spot with 73 Bitcoin in volume and on the seven day. And then we got the Pizza Ninjas uh, sitting at 60 BTC in volume, up to 0.06. So the Pizza Ninjas just really uh, started this week and re really flowing right now. And then we got the uh, the Bitcoin Puppets sitting at 0 0.023. And then we have uh, the Shadows, man, 0 0.06. Haven't really been doing... Uh, I've been sitting here. I, I, I haven't really heard much of it. I think we check on this every single week because I said I don't really know much about it. Okay, yeah, yeah I remember these now. And they have a really yeah. small supply of 660. Yeah, I, didn't, yeah those, the, I wasn't crazy about those. Yeah, man. We got bitmaps a little down, 0 .0, 0 0.0046. Bitmaps are sitting there. <laughs> we have the rare sat. So I want to check out the uncommons. I think the I'm on uncommon watch right now. Okay, they're dropping a little bit. So you got $576. They were at $600 this morning. Uh, sitting there right now, and then we have the Bitcoin frogs, man. What's happening to the frogs? What's happening? To oh, the frogs? I, I want them to keep dropping. <laughs> I want them to keep dropping. Yeah. So we have the frogs sitting at 0.135, and the Bitcoin cat sitting at 0 0.0092. Hashlings. Uh, this is a project that ETH guys are talking about. This man, I was in a uh, ETH spaces I'm talking about mm -hmm. hashlings because uh, you can state them for some type of mining or something. But I have to have, have to look more into that. Do you know anything about that? Nope. I, I mean, like I did, I have seen some PFPs change to that and stuff. So probably, you know, pretty hot right now. Yeah, and we got some Bob on Gen Five sitting at the time spot at point zero zero two. Bitcoin Punks sitting at point zero four four, and then Terrains uh, by Thank You X sitting at point zero four four. And that is your Magic Eden update. All right. We're going to move you over to BRC420. Guys, people, I guess, have been excited because of the whole Merlin chain and seeing what, you know, trying to predict the future here. But you have the blue box jumping back up at 0.496, almost half a Bitcoin, $20,664 for the floor price. Amazing. Then you got mineral that's kind of been like, you know, going back and forth. It's at 0 0.008, sitting at $333. So this is like almost a $100 move up. Yeah. Um, and then you have this song is about NFT. This guy has been really taking off lately. Um, it's at 0 0.013179, which is four, $541.61. The all time high of this uh, guy was $700. 
So we'll see kind of where this goes. You know, if Bitcoin kind of takes off here towards the end of the month, I feel like this whole entire ecosystem is going to see a jump up along yeah. with most everything else as well. Then yep. you have Key coming in after that. And Key is at a, a 0. 0.0004 floor, $16.66. Still don't know what this key goes to, but we will eventually find out one day. And then you have BRC 137 Genesis Rock. This one, guys, we're not going to speak too much on it, but it is crazy. The floor price is $104,000 and 155, $104,155. So, and there's actual sales too. You can see these now. We don't know who these wallets are. There's a look like total of three wallets here, but you should um, check out their website. Um, their website is, let's see, uh, it is brc137.io. There seems to be some sort of roll-up mechanism if you own one of these. There's only 21 total supply, but um, you're supposedly able to roll up a batch of uh, transactions and process on Bitcoin at a very low price to be able to make a business out of this is just what they're saying. So not financial advice, go do your own research, but it sounds very in interesting. Um, all right. Bitmap town comes in after them, uh, sitting at point zero zero one nine one, um, and sitting at, um, 80 bucks. Yeah. 80 bucks here, 80 bucks here. And, um, it's jumped up a little bit. Um, you know, yeah. it was hanging out at like that $50 mark meta box after that $453 and 97 cents is the floor there. IQ 50 club sitting at $1,541 and one cents. So white paper is at $89 and 55 cents is the floor 0 0.00215. And then we have bitmap kingdom coming in 009.009, with a bitmap kingdom of light gray box. And then chip chip game is at $29 and 15 cents 0 0.0007. Um, and then Bitoshi's gold club, which is the red box here, $2,415 and 64 cents or 0 0.0058 yep. and then that's where we will well finish out here two more bitmap kingdom the black box 0 0.0144 599 dollars and then citizen zero bitoshi citizen zero 0 0.0369 floor of 1536 dollars and 85 cents then we'll go and and do our little shill of the episode that we always do just to kind of show you our avatars that we have and if you yep. guys do mint it it does support the show but you can use our avatars in bitmap.tech and so uh i believe we're on the fourth uh page here maybe the fifth page yeah we moved down to five because there's been a lot of those 3d avatars i know been. really pushing up yeah yeah so, there you go yeah yeah 201 uh Mints, thanks guys. 46, 46 holders. holders, nice. Appreciate you, appreciate you. And then Shizzy has to be on that next page here. Where are you, Shizzy? Where are there you? There you are. There, there you are. are. 25 holders and 28 Ooh. mints. And guys, if you want to learn how to create your own avatar, we have an episode for that. So go check it out in our episodes. But that is your BRC 420 weekend market update. Yeah, man. And I'll take you guys over to the atomicals part of the update. And that number one spot, we have Sofan sitting at 0 0.001, uh, 1.3 sats. And then we have Adam sitting at that two spot and volume sitting at $9.69. Adam looking very juicy down here under 10 bucks. Uh, Quark sitting at 9.58 sats. It's got up to about 14 sats at one point last week. Then we have AVM sitting at 0.144. Realm sitting at 0.277. Neutron sitting at 1.1. And then I'm sorry, sitting at 1.97, and then Dragon sitting at 1.1. Dragon, look at Dragon, dude. It's it's 0. 0.1 over a sat. So yep, it's insane, right? But I'm I like, do, I do, I still love the fact that like the sat is the bottom. Yeah, yeah, that's the lowest you can go. You can't go lower than a sat. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right? I mean, and, and so like wherever you are right now, imagine Bitcoin being triple. Let's say that you're you're at like a sat. Right, yeah. like the one point one, and and Bitcoin goes to triple the value of what it is today. Then your that amount is what you're holding is going to be worth triple that. Yep. So you got to remember, Atomicals is a bit different. I love it. Yep. Toothy's really getting Ooh, hit hard. Yeah. yeah. Six hundred and sixteen dollars. There's a wall too, man. It's a large. Yeah. Wall I'm not worried because I look at the total volume. Like yeah. if you go to the top, you can see the total volume there. Seventy, 70 Bitcoin. Bitcoin. So I mean, it's gonna be. And, and and you're going to be able to bridge these over to uh, Merlin. So, yeah. Well, maybe. Well, Atomical is <laughs> one of them, right? Yeah, but okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're right. And that so, is your yeah. Atomical's update. 
All right. Um, I'm going to jump over to my updates that I did for tap, um, pipe, and uh, CBRC. So it's kind of quick, and I, I put this data out um, this morning. So you can see DMT is number one here at 47, almost 48 million market cap, um, slight increase there. Negative tap has been kind of a little bit on a downturn, but you know, the past two days it stayed even at 16, almost $17 million market cap. You have Dark City, uh, DRK sitting at. 10 and a half million down 21 percent though cold there do you have uh gib gib is uh at 7.9 million this was at five the other day so up 33 percent it's on fire base 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 took a hit um you know um but still you know each base is around 1500 dollars. so 1.46 million up half a percent so kind of just chilling there ordify mm. ordify is below a million and it's a bit cold it's down 20 percent minor um is at 830k market cap barely over half a percent benny um just under one million a lot of these are just gonna be under a million so we got benny here up 50.57 percent uh, um rpg um even no volume bitmap no volume biddle no volume troll no volume santi and no uh, uh ago is uh plus 0.56 percent so that is the tap market update let's go over to pipe Real quick, so Pipe is the top token here. It's the king at 47.5 million market cap, down 5% on the day. Everything else is even, no volume there. Tap Pipe has probably one of the lower volumes for ecosystem, but yeah. there is some liquidity over here, right? So you have Lane um, at 2.9 million, Etch at 630K, Rune at 630K, UTXO at 210K, X Pipe at 210K, and then Troll at 26.2K. Um, and then we will go to the CBRC 20s. Moto is number one at 35.5 million market cap. Then you have Board, that's 17.6. This is one of the few mark, uh, ecosystems to where the first token is not the highest market cap. So that's interesting to me because Board, I believe, was the first token. Then you have C-Punk, uh, which is a $5 million market cap, down 10%. CBRC at 1.65 million, up 4%. Uh, CLTR, uh, 403K, up 6 uh, 0.6%. Data at 395K, up 0.55%. SIM, S-Y-M-M, -M, um, at 368K, 0.6%. Node, 313.5K, minus 6%. And then you have HODL, which is 131.6K, down 25%. Very cold on that one. And then Junk at 3.7K, and I had to recalculate that one. So that is all the fungibles of Bitcoin's weekend market update. And guys, like, we want to cover everything, I promise you, um, but we are two guys that have families and have full-time jobs and have things in our lives that you guys don't know about, but <laughs> that's okay. Like, you know, um, we, we're going to do our best. Just know that we're not frustrated or upset that you guys get frustrated sometimes when we don't cover something. Just give us some time to do better. You know, we're going to try to do our best. We're going to do our best every time. And I'm, I'm, I'm proud of that. Like that Shizzy and myself, we do our best. I promise you, we put our best foot yeah. forward and we'll continue to do so. Yeah, man, definitely. And uh, if you guys don't mind uh, supporting us, just always ask you kind of just to go over to ordinalrevolution.com. This is our amazing website. We're in talks of getting some APIs to get some ordinal stuff up there. Check out all of our articles. Take a quick read. We do put up articles and we got all the podcasts up here. If you guys want to watch it from from here, uh, everything you guys need Ordinal Revolution podcast. But this is right here. Check out our store. Um, you know, if, if you know, we got some conferences coming up, East Denver, make sure you're showing out, showing out your Bitcoin gear. If you're there, we added some new stuff uh, this week. We had a whole bunch of new stuff on here. So check us out. We added these champion shirts. So they're a little bit more, more expensive, $10 more than the normal shirts. But um, C29, 39, but they're champion. They got the champion logo, their official champion gear. Check them out. They have a little, little bit better option. If you're interested, check out our bitmap hats. We got so much stuff on here, guys. Please just, you don't got to buy anything. Just take a look. Take a look. It's all we ask. But yeah, that is our that is our show. Anything else? Yeah. Nah, man, it was a great show. Uh, shout out to Maddie Verse. Thank you, sir, for showing up. Always giving you know great alpha. And yep. uh, thank you, Shizzy. You've been killing it. You know, so thanks, yeah. bud. I appreciate yeah. it. That, I, I feel you. like it's you know it's, it's time to give you go ahead and give you give you a pat on the back. <laughs> Don't do it, bro. My head might get so big. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Like I already got a big head, but guys, we appreciate you guys so much. Uh, definitely, if you cannot watch, you can definitely listen. We're on Apple, we're on Spotify, we're on all streaming platforms. Check us out. And yeah, so with tune in. Um, we, we got we got uh we got potentially we have B2 Network on this week, so check that out. Yes. We're gonna have hopefully go live with Charlie Spears. 
So that should be fun this week. We have a huge week for you guys. We're reaching out to so many different layer twos, and they all have our calendar. So we might have a, have even more shows than uh, than we think we do. So keep keep us posted. Click the little bell icon. Please like the video. Support us in in that little way if you can. But that's our yeah, show. Yeah. Peace. <laughs>